Green water is a common pond problem. The green appearance is caused by single-celled algae. The algae grows because there are excess nutrients in the water. This is caused by the nitrogen cycle. Ish and decaying materials like leaves create ammonia. Ammonia becomes nitrite and finally nitrate. As the name suggests, all these compounds are nitrogenous, basically plant food. So the algae comes along and consumes the nutrients. The good news is it's natural and it poses no immediate health concern to the fish or other aquatic animals. It's also easy to get rid of. The best long-term solution is increasing the amount of nitrifying bacteria in the pond. The bacteria need surfaces to grow on. Adding rocks and gravel to a pond provides extra surface area for the bacteria to colonise. Filter media such as ceramic noodles and bio balls are used directly in the filter specifically for this purpose. However, I find traditional filters are often undersized and simply cannot house enough bacteria to keep most ponds free from green water. Followers of the channel will know that my personal choice when it comes to filtration in a pond is a bog or a wetland filter. Bogs and wetland filters slow the flow of the water, they'll remove solid waste, provide plenty of growing areas for bacteria, and the plants will polish off the remaining nutrients within the water. This creates crystal clear water, healthy water, and best of all, bugger all maintenance. It doesn't hurt to add bacteria to the pond, uh, use putting it in regular. Uh, I like this brand, it's worked well for me. Um, it's Aussie made, so <laughs> that's a plus for me. Uh, if you're after a quick fix, you can use equipments like UV lights, these work by blasting the floating algae with ultraviolet light. They're effective at killing the algae, but they only mask the problem, which is a lack of beneficial bacteria. Uh, other natural solutions that you can look at to prevent the water becoming green in the first place is making sure you don't overstock the pond. Uh, as I mentioned, the fish will secrete ammonia and blah blah blah, more nutrients and therefore more algae growth. Another more overlocked component to a pond is a skimming system. A skimmer works by skimming the surface of the water from debris. If leaves, twigs etc fall into the pond as they decompose, they'll release more nutrients into the water. Your skimmer's going to stop the majority of leaf material sinking to the bottom of the pond and therefore reducing your nutrient load. Anyway, that's about it for my rant on green water. As you can see, it's an easy problem to fix and one that became come a thing of the past with proper filtration. Uh, thanks for watching. If this has been helpful, please like and subscribe and I'll catch you all later. See ya.